1.775 showing up on a job that you've seen before. We're gonna rework this and we got a little decommissioning work. You see we're swapping out batteries, inverters. Look at all them beauties over there, blue beauties. Let me show you. So we're going to rehook up that DC 48 volt air conditioner. Oh, it's a maze. Okay, we've had some issues with the, the Magnum. We've got a Magnum failure here. Part of the reason for the decommissioning was the customer wanted an EMP hardening. And so that's what we're going to do. We're gonna decommission all this, pull this all down, replace it with a Solark and a new battery. The flooded lead acid battery was a mistake on our part to give this customer because they're never here to maintain it. And so we're gonna take that variable out of this equation. And we're gonna rebuild this with a single 12K Solark EMP hardened. And we're gonna rip and tear, right, Johnny boy? Mm. It's not, not every day you tear, tear off something. Tear off a perfectly good system. Soul into. <laughs> we do have some problems with this inverter, but I think Johnny boy's gonna repair that one or get the parts and fix it. So we're gonna see, this is a, a retrofit. So we're gonna maintain some things like our DC side for freezers and air conditioners. And we gotta just uh, work through putting a bypass in here, an inverter and getting rid of the charge controllers and rewiring the solar array correctly for the MPPT channels in the solar. Okay, this was the Star Wars system. And now we're gonna do something like the rise of solar. All right, we're a little over halfway through day one of swapping everything out. Again, here's our North Star partial lead carbon 760 amp hour battery, sealed, maintenance free, with an awesome rack with breakers. This is great, just easy to service, huge bus bars, alarms. It's just, the, it's, it's just clean, stout, works really well. We ended up leaving. This is great. This is, uh, we're leaving the bypass from the Magnum in the system. So we didn't have to power the house down. We're in bypass and we're just going to use this as a, as a, uh, AC panel and, uh, pull the solar inputs off of here. And, uh, Johnny's move with the green field, different. He likes it. I don't know, it's not growing on me yet, but the reason we did that is because we had a six inch gutter that was already here. And instead of having to rip everything out and shut the house down, we just uh, flexed on over. And uh, being a retro drive, we can get away with that maybe. Okay, um, now we're uh, ready to, we can, it's pouring rain out, so we're not gonna go outside and do the solar today, but we can get this baby fired up, hook up the batteries, up the AC side of things, get it up and running, and clean up. So we just got a little box of it's our boneyard here, just ripping and tearing. And uh, just wanted to show a little bit of a midday messy mech room. But well, we're getting there. Solark's on the wall and ready to land some wires. And then we'll show you the solar solar part. So this is a great little mech room. Bladder tank, water heater, freezer. We gotta do the 48 volt. That's the only thing that's kind of funky on this one is we've got a 48 volt uh, air conditioner. It's not funky, it's kind of cool. DC 48 F uh, from Hotspot. That will be controlled. Uh, that's just a disconnect for it. And then we have a Sundancer 390. Oh, you can't see that can't see it but it's a freezer it's the largest freezer made by Sundancer and it's DC again it's about 14 cubic feet so that's kind of cool so we're gonna hook that directly to the bus bar and run that down in the wiring trough and come back up in there to uh, power so that way we have uh, fuse protection on or we have overcurrent protection on our air conditioner and the freezer so and they need it. That hasn't run in a while. One of the magnums was down, so there she is. 48 volt. Oh, it's just raining nicely out there. So it's kind of cool. This has been turned into a little B&B, &B, Airbnb. 
uh, location and it's doing really well but they had a huge well they had a lightning strike and it took out the well and I had to replace the whole water. That was just nuts, but dug a trench with lightning. Anyway, this will hopefully come back on today and we'll be up and running with uh, dehumidify this, this basement. Okay. All right, time to run some wires. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, just doing this a little different. We usually put up our transfer switch, GE, but this was already in place. So we're gonna leave it, button it up, clean it up. We'll be back. Well, good morning. This is day two of the rise of Solark. Um, redoing the system that has was wired for a Magnum. And each array had three strings of four panels. And we're going to rewire this and make six strings of six. So there's 36 panels, six strings of six to match the voltage requirements, string requirements for the Solark. Crank that voltage up a little bit. We're also gonna use the existing 300 volt breakers that are in these combiners, combiner disconnects from midnight. This was Johnny's cool idea. And in order to, because when you're over two strings per MPPT, you have to fuse protect each string so we are, um, I don't know what he just is yelling at. So what we got to do, there's also the EMP hardening. So we're going to be putting ferrite cores at each J box on each panel. So we got 36 of those. And so we're going to end up pulling this. So these, this is a southeast, I mean, sorry, southwest array, southeast array, and a south array. We're going to take six strings from this and combine it with the southwest. Six strings with this and combine it with the southeast and then bring two home runs up there. So we have some extra wires and that's great. That doesn't hurt us in the least bit. So we're just kind of a reworking for this Rise of Solark project. And uh, here's the ferrite cores, the large ones. We put around the CT, around the junction boxes. And we'll be doing that here for 36. This was an array that got a big old oak tree fell on it, smashed these four panels. These aren't bolted down yet. They're about to be. It really tweaked the Schleder pretty good. I straightened it out as much as I could with a sledgehammer. That's a great thing to use to straighten out. Yeah, that's, that works nicely. It doesn't cause any micro cracking, Johnny, so chill out. Um, anyhow, no trees. All the trees have been cut. We came up here and cut a bunch of trees, opened up the view, and saved the solar. So we're good now. Just gotta get to work. Okay, we're gonna do some combining here. Let me show you. On the southwest array, we got two strings of six coming over here, combining with a string from the south array of six. And then we're gonna split to the NPPT channels represented by those two power distribution blocks, one on the left, one on the right. But because there's multi more strings than the NPPT allows without fusing, we uh, used the 300 volt midnight breakers here to bring them down. So it'll be a balanced system between south and southwest and south and southeast. So pretty cool. The only problem we had some failures, serious lightning strike blowing out the well pump propane line and took out some panels, which we've never seen before. We're replacing the panels that you see missing from that array. That's the southeastern array. So up on this mountain, we get seriously hit. So anyway, this would be a good test. We switched everything over to Solark with ferrite cores and uh, we'll see how the protection goes now. So not just EMP, but lightning protection, which is about, lightning's usually, th averages around 30 kilovolts per meter, EMP 50 to 150 kilovolts per meter. It's major, major power on EMP. So, we are hopefully protected and we're gonna see how that works because this place gets hit all too often with lightning. All right, we're about to do some testing, taking this up, taking this up to the house and um, we're gonna get it landed in the solar. I don't know about Mr. Slim here. It ain't sounding too good. Come on, Mr. Slim. 
You losing a bearing? Oh no! Come on, Mr. Slim, you can do it! Okay, day two, and we're just about complete replacing the flooded lead acid batteries with an EMP hardened system. We have 20 of the North Star batteries in the North Star rack, fully breakered, and then we ended up using one of the magnum panels that was here for the dual magnum system for our bypass and just a great place to land uh, and to pull our grid feed from for the solar we have this existing gutter we didn't want to take off so it's kind of cool we didn't have to shut the house down at all to build the system and um, you can hear a little noise rumbling behind me that's a, the dc appliances that are dc 48 volt which is a freezer and an air conditioner that services this basement we also moved a couple of circuits we moved another air conditioner and i need to label that but another we have three critical loads panels and uh solark's doing great we had a little bit of lightning strike here so we had problems with uh some well palm line and then uh took out solar panels not good so but solar's working here we're charging batteries full and this is the 12k EMP hardened 150 kilovolts per meter version. So this was the, we were very proud of the time, the system we put in, the Star Wars system. So if you go back and look at that video, I'll put a link in the description and you can see what it was. It's hard to, when you start in retrofit, um, so try to make it look nice because everything was built for a different inverter and charge controllers and all that. So it's not our prettiest job, but it's highly functional. Works the same nonetheless. And um, that's it. We're going to sign off. We got to come back and just replace the panels that were just whacked with lightning. And that that's uh, unfortunate. But uh, so we got to put six more panels on, fill up a string on the southeast array. And uh, so... It's cool this place is an airbnb and there was it was very unreliable what was going on here power wise so this is gonna hopefully give the owner and the people that stay here peace of mind and with the uh, minimal we're gonna label what they need to do here which is still inverter bypass all they got to do is bloop and they're back totally on the grid and not on the solar system at all so and that explains it there so we're not really going to change that so that's cool so all right this is engineer 775 if you have an old system you want to upgrade that's another thing that we do and it's kind of fun to go in and try to see how we can use existing equipment and um make it work it might not be as pretty as it would be if we started from scratch but it's very functional nonetheless okay anybody anybody have any questions so just I th again i threw 48 volt appliances in the mix just for fun didn't have to do that i mean they're working and they work great um and i'll show you the there's the freezer there and then here's the indoor unit fan coil it's been very nice to have this running in here getting pretty musty so it's pretty clean little fan coil from hotspot energy and that is a 48 volt only it's running off of batteries that are kept charged by either solar or the grid so and that takes care of this nice looking basement area uh, for the airbnb and so i don't know if a homeowner wants me to put a link in the description but this is a, a pretty cool place to stay walk out here to your fire pit you got your wood fired hot tub and uh, not a bad view to wake up to you can come down here and sit or you can sit up on the porch covered porch uncovered porches and it's got everything everything that you would need satellite internet ping pong solar and a view so if you just want to chill out and it's the end of the line and nobody comes back beyond this house so it's a it's a great great getaway so if there's no link in the description the owner didn't want me to share it but since she's airbnb in it she might want me to all right signing out from a pretty cool location okay we have wrapped this baby up the only thing I wasn't able to do, because the homeowner's not here, is connect the Wi-Fi 
for uh, internet monitoring, but the system's working great. We just added seven more panels that were destroyed by lightning and they won't now, they're EMP protected and so they should be good to go. So we added some solar on here. I don't know if you can see, pretty cloudy late in the day, but we're bringing down, yeah, those other seven panels made it balance up perfectly between the two MPPT channels. So very nice balance system, um, was completely rewired because this used to be a Magnum and now she's been upgraded. So I'll put a link to the Star Wars video, which is what this whole wall was. And we saw a lot of people that used that video to build their own systems, which was kind of cool to see. And so um, I'll be curious how many people are doing Solarks now um, that have seen our, our videos and have tried to do their own. And that's great. If you need a, a hand doing one, be glad to help you and be uh, glad to get you the materials if you need need help specking out things or any of the design work.